Berbing, berboom, berbing, berboom. Maybe the greens, with the greens, I'll just uh, saturation, bring them down a bit. It's just kind of stealing away. I don't like it when it's too much green. I mean, I like it, but it's yeah, a bit flat. So that's about it. Okay, now you've got one like this where it's it's pretty straight as it is, but I need to flatten. See how it just curves like a fish, fish eye. So let's go to develop. Let's go straight to it. What does auto do? Nothing. That's kind of all right. It's there's the person there, the ships there. It's kind of straight. I don't know, Rob. Jerry, what do you think? I kind of want it to go a little bit more. Let's go to crop. About there. Yeah, I guess that's all right. It kind of looks like it's... I mean, this building here is kind of leaning over, though. That's the thing, so... Develop... Close that, start it again. Mask. Uh, sky. Sky is chosen. It's the same, I guess it's the same as doing this one. Enhance, sky enhance. A bit too much. I don't want to go overboard with it. And the front bit here doesn't have much. Uh, what does this do? Relight. Brightness near. Oh, yeah. That's alright.
brightness near. Thanks Lumina for helping me out there. And Bodge and Burn, Lighten, really really soft. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Uh, over here, bada bing, bada boom. That's it. Just a little flick here and a flick there and it's all good. Now with Photo Lab 5, <coughs> I've only got Photo Lab 5. Uh, there is an upgrade, I think it's up to Photo Lab 7. But with Photo Lab 5, without the um, special, you know, architectural pack, there actually is an option that um, is way better. Okay, this one here, you'll see on the left hand side, on the right hand side, it's all askew because it's the fish eye. So I like this one because it's got the little biker guy there on his bike and the boat on this side. Um, now, if I did it through Luminar Neo, the bike and the unit flats there would disappear and half of the big building will disappear. So there is a thing here. Photolab 5 has this distortion thing here. You can crop and you can do distortion. So if we pick on distortion, there's a little thing here called fisheye. So you can do barrel, pin cushion, or fisheye. Seeing this is a fisheye lens <clears throat> or photo, uh, I always like to keep aspect ratio. And we'll check this out. You see how it keeps everything? There, and it kept the little bike, it kept half of the flat, it kept most of the building, and it's got that leading line of the rail that goes all the way through. Uh, the, the leading line of the rail, the bike following that, the stairs going up, the building on the left, the building on the right, squaring it off with the body, and then to top it all off, there's a little ferry over there. <laughs> so if I'd done it in Luminar Neo, I would have lost all those little... It's only little things, but it's the little things that count, that the aspect ratio, and uh, and then all I've got to do now is uh, clear view plus, a little bit of exposure compensation, bada ching, bada chung, too much, keep that back normal. No, I'm not used to this one. Reduce the highlights there. Mid-tones. Bring up the shadows, not too much. I do vibrancy. Yeah, need a little bit more bright, a bit of luminance on the orange. Bit of a deep prime on there, to clean it all up. The noise. What was the uh, ISO 320? Doesn't matter. A bit of deep prime anyway. Fix it up. Anyway, that's the best I can do with Photo Lab 5. That's a nice photo. So I like how the leading lines. I mean, you've got so many leading things to look at. You got the guy leading in. You got the bridge. Uh, you got the staircase leading up. You got the pole, the main one leading there. Um, and it all um, finishes at a focal point over here. So you kind of got your eye leading yourself up to the sky, up to the building, the bike guys there, and then the, all leading to the building and the boat. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's my interpretation of it anyway. So I better save that before I, before I change my mind. Now there is OM Workspace. Jeez, when's the last time I used this? <laughs> I use this every day actually to go through all my photos and pick which ones I want to edit. 
later on. OM Workspace or Olympus Workspace, as I know it, it's also got tools. This one here of Jerry, which one's better? Going up the stairs. I like this one with the Daleks at the front. Distortion correction, fisheye correction, and keystone cops and flip. Looks like fisheye correction, you're not allowed to do it because you don't have an Olympus fisheye lens on there. The TT Artisan is all manual, so there's no, it doesn't know what the hell it's looking at. And I think this OM workspace, there's a lot of things that don't work if you don't have an Olympus lens. And on top of that, if you don't have an, a professional Olympus lens, certain lenses even don't work for like focus um, stacking or whatever bracketing and stuff it'll say sorry you need a profession the professional version of that lens that's a bit of a pain in the ass i mean you got an olympus lens why can't you use it anyway beggars can't be choosers this thing's free om workspace is free and it's pretty powerful for a free tool it's one of the most powerful ones out there i reckon anyway not that i've tried many but distortion this is what we want uh, let's tick that you can't go to auto. I think auto is only if you've got, like I said, if you've got an Olympus lens. Trapezoidal, trapezoidal correction. Try and say that trapezoidal times. I mean, I've gone to the extreme limits here. So that's done nothing. I mean, it has. What's keystone? Keystone compensation may not properly be performed on an image that has not, that has been edited. All oh, right. Oh, it kind of works, sort of. It's there, you can do stuff with it. And just use Keystone Cops. I don't know. Yeah, that's all right. A little art filter in there. Pop art. <laughs> Remember these? Or well, diorama would be nice. Dramatic tone one. Whoa! Holy underwear. <laughs> that looks so awesome, actually. <laughs> 